Okay, apparently it's gonna be loud and crazy fan Friday again today. You know, I just fixed all those pillows. I just fixed all those crazy dogs. Jack wants to know if we use a toothbrush to brush our dog's teeth. We don't actually brush our dog's teeth. We use the antlers. Uh, some of you guys have bought the antlers from our online store. If you go to gonetothesnowdogs.com, you can purchase the antlers from our store. I'll put a link in this video so you guys can purchase antlers for your dog if you want to. That's actually what we use for their teeth is the antlers because they, you know, they're a little bit harder so they chew on them and it helps keep their teeth strong and it also cleans them. So we, we don't use a toothbrush, we just let them chew on the antlers. And I guess I'm going to have to get them some new antlers because that one's getting kind of small. Susan wants to know, what books or websites did you use to help you tr learn how to train the dogs to pull a sled? Um, we used a combination of different things. We have some friends that actually have sled dogs and run in races, so we talked to them. But we also bought this book. It's called Mush, A Beginner's Manual of Sled Dog Training. I can also put a link to this down in the description where you can order it from Amazon. This is an awesome book. It has a lot of information in it about how to tie your dogs, how to train your dogs, how everything. It's a, whoa, geez, Oakley. It's a very good read if you're interested in, you know, letting your dogs become sled dogs for uh, recreational purposes or to do it professionally or amateurly like we do, right? It's a very good book and I definitely recommend it. Jessica says, my husky is seven months old and she does not listen to me very well and she's starting to nip a lot more and become aggressive with people touching her bones. Any way I can fix these problems? I actually got a lot of questions from a lot of different people this week about young dogs and their issues. Dogs don't come trained. Dogs don't know how to not bite and how to not be nippy and how to go to the bathroom outside automatically and how to walk on a leash automatically. They don't know these things. They, they need to be trained. And if you're having problems on your own training your dog how to do these things, contact a trainer. I mean, it's okay to contact a trainer and get help. I'm not a professional trainer. Uh, what worked for me may not work for you guys. When Shelby was younger, she used to nip. And all I did for her was when she would bite down and it was too hard, or she would bite and it was on my hand or my arm or my leg, all I would do is yell, ow, really loud and pull away from her. And the, the loud noise broke her focus and she would be like, whoa, why are you yelling? Now the thing about that too is if you're gonna, if you're gonna use that tactic, you can't instantly go back to playing with the dog because if you yell out and pull away and then go back to playing with the dog or petting the dog, they're gonna see that as being rewarded. So if you're playing with them and they bite you and you yell out, walk away ignore them because you don't want to reinforce that bad habit. That's what I did with Shelby and it worked. I never had any problems with Shiloh, of course. I never have any problems with Shiloh. Never had any issues with her biting like that. And of course Oakley we got when she was older. But that's something you can try. But again, like I said, your best bet may, to be, may be to contact a trainer. We actually did puppy classes with Shelby and we learned a lot of new things when we took those classes. They were very worth it. Here's another one of those wonderful questions. How do you stop a husky from chewing on everything and everything? It was worse a couple months ago when she went as far as chewing on the corners of baseboards. Now she just grabs whatever is on our glass table and chews on it, collars, leashes, anything that will fit in her mouth. Sometimes we forget to put these things away, but she shouldn't be chewing on everything she sees anyway. She's almost seven months old. Um, Casey, dear, dogs don't come automatically trained. Dogs don't know what they're supposed to chew on and what they're not supposed to chew on. You have to teach them those things. And you guys would be surprised how often I get questions like this. You know, my dog's chewing on this, what do I do? You have to, have to, have to work with your pets. You have to train your dogs what they're allowed to chew on, what they're not allowed to chew on. And if you're having a problem where your dog is grabbing things off your table, you need to make sure the dog is in the room with you. When Shelby was little, Shelby was a chewer. She chewed on everything. And there were times we didn't catch her. And it got to the point where what we would do is we would put the baby gate up and if we were in the living room, Shelby was in the living room with us. If we were in the office, Shelby was in the office with us. That way, as soon as she started to try to chew on something or try to do something wrong, we could immediately correct her. Dogs learn the fastest when there is an immediate correction. If you leave the house or leave the room for 15 minutes and come back and the dog ate your plastic cup that was sitting on the table and you try to correct the dog, 
They have no idea what they did. They don't know that you're mad because they chewed up the plastic cup or the baseboard or the bottom of the door or the remote control or the toilet paper or whatever. They have no idea that that's why you're mad if you if it's been 10, 15 minutes. You have to catch them in the act. And, okay, Oakley. And you have to correct them right away. I mean, I cannot stress this enough. Dogs do not come automatically trained. Huskies are a very stubborn breed. They can be very difficult to train. They can take a long time to train. And if you're having issues, please, please, please contact a local trainer and ask them for help. Yeah, you may have to pay to have them come to your house and help, but it's worth it so that you can keep your dog, keep your dog safe, and keep your stuff safe too. There, like I, you know, like I said, I can I get questions like these a lot, and I always, you know, I never really know how to answer them. Dogs don't come automatically trained. I, it'd be nice if they did, but they don't. They're a lot of work, and at seven months old, if you're having this much trouble now, honey, I got news for you. Shelby's five, and she still chews stuff up on occasion. Not like she used to. But she does still chew things up. So does, so does Shiloh, for that matter. I mean, you guys saw the video the other day. Shiloh does the same thing, and she's she'll be 11 next month. Shiloh's birthday is on November 8th. She'll be 11 years old, and she still chews things up from time to time. It's it's something they... No, she's going to tear up her bed now. It's something that they never really grow out of. You just have to keep an eye on it, and don't give them the opportunity. Don't leave things out where they can grab it and take it. Because you're just giving them that opportunity. Keep things up and away from them and kennel them when you're not home. It's not mean, really. It keeps them safe. It keeps your stuff safe. Because think about it. If you have them out and they chew something up and they choke on it while you're gone, not a cool thing. Not a cool thing at all. There's, there's my little words of advice for that. In the mail today, we got this really cool drawing of Shiloh from Isabella. Thank you for sending that to us. That's really cute. I love how you did the name tag with her name on it. That's pretty cool. Genevieve sent us a whole bunch of drawings of Shiloh, Shelby, and Oakley. And of Jamie and I. Check that out. Look, Shelby, that one's of you. Thanks for sending those, Genevieve. Those are really cute. We also got a letter from Hannah with some really cool snowflakes. Check that out. Snowflakes just for you girls. Hannah also sent us some money to donate to our local animal shelter. So we will be taking that tomorrow and dropping it off at the shelter. Thank you, Hannah, for being so thoughtful. And thank you for the awesome snowflakes. I think I'm going to have to hang those on my wall. It's almost cold enough to snow here. So pretty soon we might get some good videos with the dogs in the snow. Right? Right? Want some snow? I'm excited about snow. Snow. See? Shiloh's cleaning her teeth. Chewing on her antler. That's all we have for Fan Friday today, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the show, and we will see you, oh, big yawn, on Monday, which might end up being another t-shirt giveaway because we are very close to hitting 10,000 subscribers. So, I love you, too. I love you. What? Say bye-bye. Bye. Say bye. <laughs> bye. What? I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Okay, goodbye. Don't forget, if you guys would like to send us anything in the mail, our P.O. Box address is Gone to the Snow Dogs, P.O. Box 12, Alpena, Michigan, 49707. And if you have questions for Fan Friday, you can leave them on our Facebook page or on our Twitter page, which are listed on the screen. Thanks for watching, you guys. Shine,